In this video, we're going to teach your dog the push cue. The push is used to be able to close doors, drawers, and cabinets in your home. It can be used both as a service dog task or as part of another trick, such as getting a beer from the fridge. Before teaching this behavior, it's helpful if your dog has a good understanding of the hand target, where you can hold your hand in multiple locations and ask your dog to touch your hand. You will also need a few pieces of equipment. You will need some painter's tape, as well as a dowel or stick. Note that we're going to teach your dog to push things closed with their nose and not their foot. If you teach this with their foot, it's very easy for them to cause damage to your cabinets and doors. So we're really gonna be selecting for using their nose to close drawers, doors, and cabinets. The first thing we need to do to get started with this behavior is to create our target stick. We're gonna take that dowel and create a square of painter's tape at one end of the target stick. This is going to be helpful as we teach the dog that we can target anything with their nose. It also takes the target away from our hands so that they're not focused on our hands but instead on something that's away from us because we need to teach them to send out and close something from whatever distance we need them to do that. The next step is to shape a touching of the target stick. So we're going to hold out the target stick and shape it just like we would a hand target where we're going to click and reward for successive approximations of touching the target. We want them to be able to successfully touch the target in many different locations. So we're going to start in one location and then work up to being able to touch the target stick wherever we put it. Once they have a solid understanding of touching the target stick, we're going to start locating that target right in front of a drawer or a door so that they can practice touching the stick and making contact with the object behind it. It's important to note that in this video, I'm actually showing you my dog that's a lot more touch sensitive, so she doesn't naturally wanna push objects with her nose, but I wanted you to see what that, that looks like with a more touch sensitive or emotionally sensitive dog instead of my dog that's a real tough pusher. So you can see what it looks like to build up confidence around uh, this type of behavior. Next, you're going to put a square of your painter's tape on the actual door or drawer that you're working with. It should look exactly the same size and shape as the target that's on your actual stick. You want to pick a drawer or a door that's going to be easy for them to push and perhaps not make too loud of a sound when the drawer closes. Once you have this piece of tape on the object that you're looking to close, you're going to hold the opposite end of that target stick, so the, the side of the target stick that does not have the target on it, up to that piece of painter's tape that's on the drawer, so it looks very similar to as if they were touching your target stick, but now you're just showing them the location of a target on an object. Once the dog is proficient and pushing on that object without the flag actually being on your stick but on the actual drawer, you're going to take your stick away and no longer use that prompt of the stick being put next to the target as the way to cue the dog. You're just going to shape pushing that drawer is going to get you a click and reward. At first, you're going to click for just touching that drawer or door, especially with a dog that may be a little bit more sensitive to pushing. Then you're going to select for actually closing that cabinet or door. You're going to want to take that cabinet or drawer out only an inch from being closed because you want your dog to be successful on that push. So you're going to open it an inch, your dog's going to push it close, and you're gonna click for the closing and reward. Once the dog is successfully closing the door each time, you're going to start incrementally increasing the distance they would have to push the drawer or door closed to be able to shut it. 
So you're going to start with one inch and then you're going to move to two and three and so on until you can open the drawer or drawer fully and your dog will push all the way in until it closes. Remember we're clicking for the close because that's ultimately what we want our dog to do. Once they are fully closing the drawer each time you open it, it's time to add a cue. So if you're opening the door, they push it right close, and then you open it and they push it right cl close, you're in a loop, so that means it's time to add the cue. So right before they go to push that drawer, you're going to call it, you're going to say push, their nose makes contact with it, closes, click, reward. So again, you're going to add it once they're successfully closing the drawer or door, and this should be the same drawer or door that you've been working with. Every single time, you're going to say push, they put their nose to it, they close it, you click and reward. The next step is to fade the physical target that you're using, that piece of painter's tape on the drawer. So once they understand the push cue and you can say push and they'll go and push the door shut, we're now going to make that painter's tape section smaller and smaller until we can eliminate it completely from the equation. Push. step is to generalize the behavior. So once you have one drawer in your house that your dog can successfully close when you tell them to push it closed and they push it all the way in until completion, it's time to generalize. When we generalize, we want to go back to the beginning on each successive drawer that we start so that they really understand the behavior. So I'm going to move to a similar looking cabinet. So say I'm in my kitchen and we've been doing one spe specific cabinet. We're going to move on to a different cabinet that looks the same in the kitchen. And I'm going to start from the beginning. I'm going to use my target stick to show them where to close it. Then I'm going to move to my painter's tape and then I'm going to eliminate the painter's tape. I'm going to do that with a couple cabinets and drawers so they start to understand that they can close anything. Once they're very excited about pushing closed your cabinets and your drawers, you can also move on to using this behavior for other things, such as closing a fridge door or closing your laundry drawer as part of another service dog task, such as doing the laundry or retrieving a water bottle for you. This task is incredibly useful, especially if you have limited mobility or hand function. Once your dog is successfully closing drawers and doors around your house, you can now up the distraction and the distance that you're asking them to do the closure from. If you've been doing it from only a foot away, can you do it from two feet, three feet? How about across the room? Start challenging your dog because they tend to really enjoy this task and make it really fun for them. Get creative with this task and generalize to lots of different things such as closing a mailbox. There's so many uses for this specific push cue that you can use for both service dog tasks and tricks. So get started, have fun with it, and happy training. All right guys, if you like this video, definitely give us a thumbs up and click that subscribe button below with the little bell. When you hit that bell, you'll be notified anytime we come out with a new training video for you to watch. 